So Ryan, your book, The Effective Presenter, again, congratulations for the book. It centers around uh, a property presentation framework and it outlines the complete formula to preparing, designing and delivering an effective professional presentation. Can you tell me more about that and how can job seekers benefit in presenting themselves effectively during the interview? Yeah, I'd be happy to. Um, so the book actually looks like this. And for those of you who are, are watching it, and it's available on Amazon everywhere. I'll put the link below so that people can directly purchase it. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, and what I've done is, so basically the, the impetus for the book, the reason it was because I, I do a lot of work with organizations and, and individuals and companies. And a lot of the presentations and the pitches and the even speaking, like you said, advocating for yourself in an interview or something, yeah. some of those skills are transferable. And unfortunately, I'm only one person, I couldn't be everywhere at once. So it got requested of me to put something down on paper, and it eventually took the form of a book. Yeah. But what I noticed was in all my time teaching presentations and training folks and, and coaching, there's there's never been an actual framework, a step by step, do complete one, go to two, complete two, yeah. go to three, etc to give yourself the best probability of success mm -hmm. in a presentation. And so what I did was I kind of shook the trees. I went through all the research. I went through all my experiences and I, I created a framework that is uh, widely applicable to, to almost every situation. Now, how it's applicable to interviews and presenting yourself, yeah. I would say that the foundational part of my presentation framework is the most important, which is mm -hmm. three parts. It's um, your goal, yeah. Um, who, your audience and yeah. the logistics. Yeah. So you need to know like, what do you want to happen at, at the, at the outset, at the end of it, the conclusion and what you want. And typically if you're going for an interview, you yeah. want a call back for a second interview. Oh, sure. right? So sometimes you're, you're having it with a, the first step is with a screener or with a recruiter and they're going to pass you on to the hiring manager or the next mm -hmm. step. Right. So you want to know where you fall in there, because if you're talking just to the screener, they're just checking off boxes to because to, they're trying to eliminate people and give the top five or or what have you, how many candidates they have. So it's a little bit different of a, of a goal than if you're actually pitching yourself and saying, and I can do this. And I also have experience in that uh, with the hiring manager uh, themselves. Yeah. Then the audience part it, it, or sorry, the, the second part, the audience, it matters because who you're talking to it matters what they're going to look for. And finally, the third part, I know I kind of oversimplified that, but um, the third part, the logistics, it gets often overlooked as well. You want to know how much time you have. You yeah. want to know where you're going to be, see how many people are going to be in the room with you. Is it going to be virtual, in person? Mm -hmm. All of those details will impact the preparation. And the importance of technology and all those things, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And also, a lot of times, some job seekers will be asked for a second time to prepare, an, uh, to prepare a presentation, or a case study again based on the job, but always make sure that to link to the job, come back to the job. Yeah, absolutely. It's good that you, you mentioned that because I, I'm thinking that people will know that, but you're right. It, it, mm -hmm. I bet you a lot of people take that for granted. Yeah, yeah, because they talk about, especially during the star method, you know, they talk about the situation, the task and the action, and they forgot about the result or they forgot the follow up, making sure that you have that link in the storytelling that, and by this way, I can do this to this job or to this organization. Absolutely. Thank you for those great tips, Ryan. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Ryan.